Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable a lockout policy as well as setting some of the thresholds for lockout as well as the duration of the lockout for incorrect or invalid passwords on your Windows computer or Windows server or whatever you're running. So it should be a pretty easy tutorial and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just off calling the start button one time. Type in local security. Best match should come back with local security policy here. Left click on that one time. Now you want to expand the account policy section. And then left click on account local policy. On the right panel here you can see we have our options to work with. So account lockout duration. So if you have invalid login attempts enabled. If you double click on it you'd be able to set how long in between passwords you'd be able to lock them out for. And there's a little tab that says explain next to it that will give you a pretty good overview of exactly what it does. So most of these you can set anywhere from 0 minutes to almost 100,000 minutes. Account lockout threshold. This will tell you how many attempts it will take before you actually reach an account lockout. And you can see if this value is set to 0, the account will never be locked out. So if you set it to something like 3, that means you get 3 tries and then the account will be locked out for however many minutes. And you would set that through the account lockout duration. And there will also be a reset account lockout counter after so many minutes. So if you explain this, so once you've restarted your computer, as long as the reset time is less than or equal to the account lockout duration, the counter will be reset. So pretty straightforward. So click on OK. You can make your changes in here, and that's pretty much it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.